Hello everybody, this is JackB1024 and welcome to my update video on Factorio Uranium Reactor Refueling with Combinators. Uh, firstly, let me just give a shout out to Psycho Muffin SDM and Kaif, I hope that's how your name's pronounced, uh, who mentioned this new circuit as an update to the one that I used to have. So the old circuit used to use one combinator for each reactor as well as three for the whole system. And the new one uses no combinators at all, merely red wire and green circuit wire. So how does it work? Well, we have a single red wire that goes to all our storage tanks. This wire goes to the extracting inserter of each uranium reactor. For our inserting inserter, we have it connected via a green wire to its neighboring extracting inserter. Now the inserters that extract they're set to read hand contents on hold mode, as well as enable when there's less than 6,000 steam. Now you could set this to a higher number if you want. This is just the minimum amount of steam that will be in your network. So they're all set to exactly the same thing. Our inserting inserters, they are set to enable mode when a used uranium fuel cell signal is greater than zero, and they're set to override the stack size to one. Now the last thing you need to do to set this system up is you need to put your very first uranium fuel cell into your reactor. So normally it should be sitting around with one spent fuel cell in its output slot. If that's the situation it's at, you're in the perfect situation for this setup. One thing to also remember is that your input inserters need to always have the ability to pick up new fuel cells. If they ever don't, then your extracting inserter could take out this spent fuel cell and your inserting one will not put in the next cell and the system will break. So as long as you're fine with all that, this system will work. And so to show how it works, I'm using creative mode, which means I've got these extra uh, pumps. These ones will void any fluid that goes into it just so I can get rid of this steam faster without having to make a huge network. So when I turn this on, the amount of steam you'll see is now ticking down. When it hits 6,000, all of these inserters will take out their spent fuel cell. While they're taking it out, the green wire will have a spent fuel cell value of one, which means all the inputting inserters will input their next fuel cell. So here you go. And there we go. All of our nuclear reactors are now back on. Oh, I could turn this off. And let's just speed up the game a bunch. See all these reactors are running and they'll finish processing the fuel and the spent fuel cell will sit in the output slot again. So we'll be back at the same state we're at at the start of this episode. And that's how you do it. Super simple, no combinators needed. And yeah, it works perfectly fine as long as you make sure your inserters always have fuel cells to grab and you preload them all with one fuel cell. So we go, they're almost done. And there we go. We go back to normal speed again. So there we go, they've all got one used up uranium fuel cell in their output. And they're now just waiting for there to be less than 6,000 steam in our tanks. Okay, that's it. Hope you all have a good day. Uh, if you've got any comments, you know, feel free to leave them below and I'll reply to them. Otherwise, until next time, this is JackB1024 signing off. Have a good day.